Hey everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for those sign of Capricorn. Topic of the reading is, do they love you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, and you really want to know if this person really loves you or not, this reading will definitely help you know that. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will also be adding some messages from your person as well, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal leads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's see, do they love you? Wow, three of wands. Um, this person is really, um, you know, putting their love life on hold for, per you know, on purpose. Like, you know, this person is not ready to take things next level in regards to this connection that they have with you. Why is uh, that happening right now? Maybe they are testing your patience. Maybe they are like, you know, just maybe they have been hurt in the past. So they really want to be so sure about you before they say yes to you, before they give themselves into this connection. So this person is really very protective of their feelings right now. And I feel like, you know, they, they would really need their time to um, make up their choice and, uh, you know, say yes to you or, uh, you know, whatever they have to say. But I feel like, you know, um, they are also observing you from a distance is what I'm picking up. Let's see more cards here. The High Priestess. Wow. This person could be a water sign or somebody who's very emotional, very sensitive, very intuitive as well. I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, seems like, you know, this, this person is definitely keeping an eye on you, whether they're talking to you, whether they're not, um, you know, whether they are saying that they love you or whether they are not. Like, you know, this person really is keeping eyes on you. So I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, this person is not going to say yes to your connection or say I love you to you until unless they are so sure that you are worthy of their time and energy. Uh, let's see more cards here, Seven of Wands. Um, I feel like, you know, they are scared of uh, commitment, marriage, engagement, uh, love, relationships. Their past might have been very toxic. Uh, they find it very hard to trust people and their intentions when it comes to connections and love life. I feel like, you know, this is the reason why this connection is not moving forward with this person because this person really finds it hard to trust you or trust anyone for that matter of fact. Um, I feel like, you know, deep down they can sense that the love that you give to this person is true. Uh, is honest is uh, pure but at the same time they want to check it for themselves now for some of you maybe this person is you know talking to you on a, on a, in, a in a very secretive way as well just to see how you talk to other people so maybe they are talking to you with fake ids as well for some of you i'm picking up that energy that's very specific something for some of someone of uh, some of some someone had out there but uh, i do see that as well so let's see more cards here king of souls i feel like you know whoever it is that you're dealing with um this this person is really 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 um kind of um this person will always trigger certain emotions in you and see how you react and react so this person has a lot of fearful uh thoughts about future as well i feel like they are very protective as well of their feelings but at the same time if you ask me do they love you i feel like you know they would rather want to be loved than to love someone um now why i'm saying that because i feel like you know they would they would give into anything if they feel that they are secure being with that person so if you love them and if they trust your love they would love you back but right now i feel like you know they haven't kind of you know gotten that um trust in you uh, so strong where they would give themselves into you and where they will say I love you too or something like that I really f see that this person is really fearful so they are going to check you on each and every uh, you know level before they open up their feelings and open up their heart to receive your love even so I feel like you know this person really needs some sort of healing as well they will always have something or the other to pick up fight on because uh, they they are very scared of love relationships and commitments um but once they are into this connection once they give in they will be all yours right now i feel like you know things are changing in this connection but yes there is yet to happen that love from their side uh we of fortune underneath the, underneath the deck underneath that we do have king of pentacles i feel like you know this person really wants to test you in each and every way before they come to you before they love you back so you are dealing with a person who's very fearful right now of commitments relationships love etc let's see their messages for you right now let's see what is their message for you um 
in the given situation what is it that they wish to say to you what is it that they wish to say to you right now what is it what is it what is it I love you to the moon and back a million times. So I feel like, you know, this is a message from this person's future self. I want us to be back together. If you are dealing with this person on and off, this person really wants to get back with you. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, they are going to be like, you know, testing your patience and testing themselves as well. For some of you, maybe they have detached, separated themselves just to see how you are going to pursue them. Are you going to do that or even not? So that's what this person is currently doing right now. Let's see one more message. I'm obsessed with you. This person really is, you know, somebody who gets obsessed. And if they are getting obsessed, they really want the same from you as well. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of uh, passionate energy coming from this person. But still, they are trying to control their emotions, feelings, passion right now. Just so they are sure before they give into the connection with you. Let's see some Oracle cards here. Let's see what the Oracle has to add to the read. What is it that you need to know, that you need to do to have what you desire quicker? <clears throat> Two cards from this deck, let's see. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like, you know, um, for majority of you, I feel like, you know, this person, like I said earlier, they do have trust issues because uh, they do have addiction issues as well. Like, you know, they don't want to fall in deeply with, uh, you know, uh, they don't want to fall in love deeply with you and then feel like, you know, you're pushing them away. So they want to be so sure before they say yes to you. And uh, I feel like, you know, that's the reason why they are going to test you first and if um, you know they know that they are going to start depending on you heavily and dominantly and that's why they're staying away from you right now until unless you win their trust they will not give into the connection forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments um i feel like you know for some of you maybe um you and your nature towards this person is also getting addicted right now maybe you're too addicted to this person you need to kind of maybe um Maybe you you need to kind of, you know, um, no doubt you, you, you love this person, you want this person, but at the same time, you have to set some uh, boundaries for yourself there because maybe that is going to, um, you know, maybe a person would take you for granted if you keep giving them love, love, love. They need to understand, value your love as well. So if you are giving so much of your love and attention to this connection right now, maybe you need to detach a bit so this person opens up about their feelings to you as well. Now with forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, if you are going through a phase where you are giving to the connection your person is the taking it for granted i feel like you know, it's very important right now for you to kind of you know maybe pull away a bit so let this person heal and forgive and forget the past and give into the connection so that might hurt, you know work out well for you as well so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe and uh, yeah till i do the next reading for you guys take care and bye